Hey everybody, we're looking at uh, the box for Reluctant Enemies. And I bet you think this is going to be another one of those blogger wannabe shrink rip videos. Well, you're wrong. What we're going to do today, rather than look at the contents, because if you own it, you have probably already seen inside it. If it's been delivered, mine just arrived yesterday. Or uh, if you don't own it, you've probably seen the pictures that are already online. And I'm sure someone will do a very nice... Uh, shrink rip video. What I thought I'd do today is have a look at probably what the most important uh, component in the box is, is the OCS status guide. And if this is important because the Reluctant Enemies module has, was really positioned as the 13th title that's been published uh, from MMP, the Gamers Operational Combat Series, uh, as the, the title that would allow you to get into the series and understand the mechanics of the game, uh, experience the game, how it could or should be played in terms of its uh, logistical aspects. It's an opportunity for maneuver and things like that. And so this uh, this title was uh, uh, designed to have this uh, starters guide that comes with it. And as you can see, the, t uh, the text is fairly dense, uh, but it's a uh, very well written uh, and makes a lot of rules references. And after my, I've read the first three or four pages in detail and uh, skimmed through the rest of it and read the last uh, two or three pages in detail. Primarily because I, I don't want to take uh, too much away from the play of the game. And I think uh, this thing uh, gives you quite a few nuggets on what the appropriate strategy might be for one side or the other. And I kind of want to explore those myself. So what I thought I'd do is just give you a quick run through on this document and give you my first impressions of it and, uh, and show you what's in it uh, to help you make perhaps some more for the new guys who are interested, uh, make some more informed, uh, a more informed decision about whether or not this might be a, uh, a game for you, number one, and whether this starter guide will be something that uh, would be useful. So the first thing I'll say off the bat is you're going to need to read the OCS rules before you read this. Uh, I would encourage you to do that anyway, otherwise it's going to be a little um, <clears throat> a little opaque to you because it does make a lot of rules references, both to the uh, module-specific rules and the system rules of here, uh, the 4 one rules. So uh, first page really just kind of outlines what's going on and uh, says, hey, okay, let's get started. And uh, they actually start off with an overrun. So it's kind of cool. You get uh, get into the combat straight away and it walks you through uh, an overrun and how the movement that's required, uh, how movement works for overrun and an actual uh, combat with the DRMs and all that sort of good stuff. It does um, uh, fail to mention what a... Um, a regimental equivalent is and that was the first hint to me that you would probably need to be reading the rules before you jump into this so there's a lot of good detail in the rules that uh, will help you uh, absorb this a, a lot more simply the the, the the and then the game uh, this document then shifts to planning and that's a big part of this game as well and, and to me a, a lot of the fun of the game it's thinking through what you might do, and if you've ever seen any of my videos or blog posts on uh, my uh, mega efforts at OCS, I love to get the map and mark out where all the victory hex locations are, and uh, these are automatic victory locations here, and you know these outline some of the ter uh, difficult terrain areas and things like this. And they've done this here, and then walked you through the thinking of uh, what you might do as a Commonwealth player. And then uh, I'm not sure if there's a lot of detail on what the Vichy French uh, could potentially do. Uh, there are these little boxes that highlight uh, what you could, what you should be thinking about, and and bringing your attention to uh, certain aspects of the game, and in what they call little newbie notes. And they're very insightful, very cool. So I really uh, enjoyed this. Uh, helps you think through the supply net, uh, the logistics side of the game, what you're trying to achieve. Uh, it's very well written. And then you can see there's quite a few, uh, quite a few images on the map. I probably would have liked to have seen slightly higher resolution uh, on these images, but they're they're certainly good enough. So 
talks about uh, the use of reserve markers here and walks you through a full turn in in very specific detail. Uh, how to get how what you're going to need to do with your supply, uh, artillery barrages. Uh, there's some naval barraging that goes on here and then goes through reaction movements. So what will the Vichy French do in this uh, given situation here? Uh, how to apply air in the various uh, segments of the game? And uh, then goes through a classic uh, combat, uh, typical combat. And it goes on from there. So uh, <coughs> this, uh, this is a really key little note here. Uh, understanding the turn sequence is indeed really important and it highlights here the, all the different aspects that you need to keep in mind when you're uh, when you're playing the game uh, keeping the turn sequence process in mind and uh, which step comes when uh, to allow you to do uh, you know certain various aspects now carries on with the turn and then the Vichy uh, player has their turn the Commonwealth reaction phase. They talk about uh, you know how how they're both approaching this and the defensive actions that go on, and then at the very end of the document, it uh, comes up back to uh, some uh, explanations about what different types of units, uh, the difference between combat units and ground units, and attack capable units, <coughs> and then the last couple of pages. I was a little surprised to see this chart, uh, these couple of charts in here. Uh, I think it really trying to hammer home the point that this is not just about supply, and it's not just about maneuver, maneuver. It's also about the quality of the units that you have in the game. Uh, the action ratings of a, a given unit will uh, wildly affect your results in a given combat. And if you don't have good uh, action rating units, you need to compensate for that with uh, more force. And uh, they really use this here, uh, these two tables here, and take up a fair bit of space. I would say, you know, uh, one and a half columns of space discussing the impact of uh, the action rating. Uh, and then when it goes on to talk about modes and leg and truck and track points, uh, a little bit about probability theory, because, hey, you know, no point in missing that. So clearly some guys have played ASL before and are into the uh, analysis of, uh, extensive analysis of this. I kind of gut feel my way through these overruns and things like that. You, you'll get a sense for it once you start playing the game. So don't be... Uh, Overawed, you're not you're not going to have to memorize these tables, but they're giving you some insight into you know hey what what's going to be involved what is what the, what are the likely outcomes that could occur if I attack at five to one in the rough with AR rated three units or if I attack at three to one with AR rated five units it's going to be a very big difference in your uh, in your potential combat results okay so uh, it then goes in and looks at uh, uh, sums up all the different things that you've learnt, uh, adds a few more details on various aspects about you know, uh, fueling and independent units and uh, using HQs to bulk fuel things. So uh, pretty cool stuff. I, I really think it's a great effort uh, uh, for a starter guide. It's not something I've seen done in uh, perhaps as much detail anywhere else, but I think the detail is required because although this game is not as it says in here, it's not complex. It is, in, for me, it's involved. There are a lot of decision-making uh, points, and those points can often be complex because there are so many uh, choices. All right, that's a very long... <laughs> I don't think I wanted this to be a couple of minutes, but here it is. I'll pop this up for you. You can have a look at it. Uh, it's the OCS Starter Guide from Reluctant Enemies. Uh, I will give you just a quick squeeze in the box. You've got the, the rules. There's a map. Uh, and here are the counters. Uh, I haven't even had a look at them myself, actually. Uh, it's a one counter sheet. So, yeah, one counter sheet, and there's some informational charts and bits and pieces, and the usual, the usual guff that you would get with the game. So, there you go. We'll uh, talk to you soon.